I'm really excited to see what the Shadow Keep stuff is. You guys know if you look at my channel, you go through the history of my channel. Destiny's been a big part of it. But I'm going to make it a bigger part when Shadow Keep comes out. I'm talking about daily videos, crucible grinds. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we're still waiting. But a uh, big fan of Destiny, a big fan of the, the world and the lore. And I have a long, you know, storied up and down. I think the Destiny fan base has an up and down. And I think that's because Destiny at its core is so great. It plays so great. It's so much fun that it's different than when you were upset at a bad game or a bad game wasting your time. Like everyone wants Destiny to be better. They want it to reach its potential. And ever since Bungie ditched Activision, that seems like what the, the, the path that they're going down. Every single Vidoc, the first stream where they announced new light and shadow keep coming, every little bit of information, even the way they've been patching the game and quality of life stuff, just to kind of ease some of the grind and some of the more frustrating elements. Now, Bungie is still Bungie, and they still do the things they do, quirks aside. But overall, I think everyone's way more excited for Shadowkeep and uh, the future of Destiny. The future seems like it can go anywhere now. So I'm excited to see what that first step is of their multi-year process to get it there. And uh, I'm excited to see what this launch trailer is going to have in store for us. Listen to the shadows. They whisper death. Welcome. We've been waiting. Is that the ghost? It knows we're coming. I can sense it. You know that thing that goes bump in the night? Become that thing. Oh, we got tanks. Oh, that dungeon, man. I'm excited. Oh, that's shoddy, though. We have work to do. Yo, the Titan just Van Damme the shit out of that guy. Oh, I love strikes. I'm all in on strikes. Will someone please bring the Guardian his crown? Hunter God. All right, Sparrow Racing League. That's that's what I'm getting out of that. Well, it's kind of a, uh, you know, I'm not going to be head over heels with hype. It was a uh, it was an okay launch trailer. Definitely seems like it's aimed more at the casual player who's not really into Destiny's lore storyline. It wasn't like really cinematic, but it also makes a lot of sense because with new light, it's going to be free to play and there's going to be a lot of people who are going to see Destiny, and it's going to say free. Excuse me. And they're going to be able to install it, start playing, and then get in there. So definitely a more uh, mass market style trailer. Even the song selection is very Undestiny-like. But still, we've been getting all the hardcore information. I think the hardcore fans got all that information they wanted from the Vidoc that was last week. So still okay trailer, but I'm still very excited about the game itself. The Van Dam spin kick from the Titan being a Titan only character uh, and player since Destiny 1 launch. Very excited about it. Still really can't wait to play. So I hope you guys enjoy my reaction. I hope everyone's excited to play some Shadow Keep. And like I said, come October 1st, there will be a lot of Destiny content on this channel. And I'll be like trying to you know, chart my progression and go up there. And if you want to play, just uh, look down below. I have tons of information, Twitch streams, links, Discord. 
and we'll just be playing a lot of Destiny. So I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. Hope you guys enjoyed some Destiny. And I'll see you on twitch.tv slash talks later on. Because I'm going to be covering the Sony State of Play. And I'm excited to see what they got there. So have a good one, everyone. I'll see you in a few hours. Peace out, y'all.